want to see how I made these cupcake boxes using nothing but items from Design Space, keep on watching. In this video, I won't be doing any assembly. I'm just going to be showing you how I designed these in Design Space. So I started with a rectangle box in Design Space. Here you will see the image ID. I will also list it in the description bar. So I know there's an easier way to do this, but this is how I sized it. Um, I made me a reference circle. Um, I made it two and a half inches because that's roughly the size of my cupcake liners um then i literally tried to line it up so that the cutout on the insert is equal to or just about the same size as it so if you want to you can stop right here but I'm gonna add a window and a ribbon to my box. So first we're gonna ungroup everything so that we can separate all the pieces. But this piece here, make sure that you duplicate it. You're gonna need two pieces in order to complete the box. So to get the window, I literally searched for a rounded rectangle and again i winged it for the most part um trying to get the sizing i literally just played around with it till i got it to it was the look i wanted okay. open up your layers here you're only going to select the rectangle box and the rounded rectangle we added and now you're going to slice so in there, we're gonna take out the green that we add, the green portion, which is a round rectangle. Take out that, and then you might have thought you lost your score lines, but if you go back over to your edit, hit a range, move backwards. There you go, and you can attach it back, and now you have a lid with a window so you can now delete this one um, the lid with the window is now going to be your base so now we're going to go ahead and add the holes for the ribbon I suppose you can call it that <laughs> so I use this shape here I will leave the image ID in the description bar but I use this to get the cutout effect for the ribbon so what we're gonna do, we're gonna select both of those and weld them together so that they're now one piece. And now we're gonna repeat the step again of, we're gonna detach the score lines. Well, actually, let me go, let me do this a proper way so you guys can see. Select our sliced image and then select our welded, which will be those two portions. And we're gonna slice, delete, and delete. And to get your score lines back, just move the top image backwards. The word of the day is winged it. Um, I took this rectangular shape and I just made it the same height as my lid. Again, it could have been an easier way to go about doing this, but again, I winged it. Okay, so silly me almost forgot um, the window. Um, same way I winged it. Um, it's hard to see now. Hold on, let's make this easier. Let's, let's switch it down to go just for sake of y'all seeing what I did. Um, literally added a square, unlocked, and played around with the size. And seriously that's all i did to get the window insert so this is this is going to be cut from your acetate or your k collar and then the rest is card stop sorry guys i'm not doing any assembly in this video but we're going to jump right into the next box so the two pieces you need for this box is just 
the treat holder and the square lid. So if you haven't already, you might as well go ahead and subscribe to Cricut Access. It is definitely worth the $10 investment. So again, I'm making my reference circles the same size as my cupcake liners, which is two and a half inches. And then again, I play with the size of the tree holder to get it to match up as close as possible. Um, I won't need that so we can delete that one. And now we're gonna still go back to um, our shape this time I'm going to use a square because now I need to figure out for the most part how big my base needs to be. Those who are the main component. So we're gonna duplicate this because one's gonna be the top and one's gonna be the bottom. And this part here, you're just going to insert. Now, in order to get the panel, well, the see-through panels on one side. Again, this reference square is gonna be the base of everything. So what I did initially is I duplicated this four times. I'll leave one alone because that's going to be my reference. <laughs> just, um, just in case I have to change anything or I need to do, which I will coming up. So um, the material I use is I use the cake collar, which comes in a roll. But the catch is at most Cricut only allows you to cut up the length up to 24 inches and then you'll see once these are all together that is going to be 27 inches which is way more what Cricut allows you to cut so I came up with the bright idea just to cut a panel of three and then have one extra panel um, so to Another thing you're going to need that um, is not a part of design space is, um, I don't know, a uh, score line, right, yeah, it sounds really confusing, but I, I realized I had gotten spoiled using um, SVDs outside of design space, and a lot of them don't have, they don't use type of score lines Cricut Design Space does they actually cut it out to get the effect so and I literally imported it and I used that when I needed to actually cut through versus scoring because it's really hard to score your acetate using your scores, scoring stylus so you actually have to cut to get the effect The score line, again, like I said, I really winged this whole process, so I'm going, to, I'm walking through it like I actually did. So with another one, with that um, that fourth reference square, make sure we move it to the top so that you can see. You can even change it to a different color if it makes it easier. But what I did is some, um, I put it on top and I lined it up. To make sure it's still the center but then I took my score lines which I made to be oh this should have been 675 Oop, move that up front and literally I eyeballed it to make sure it lines up I'll duplicate that 
and repeat on the other side. Again, this might not be the best way to do it, but this is what worked for me. So we're gonna group everything, and then we're gonna attach it. Now that's so we're um I was trying to figure out the best way to go about attaching the fourth panel. So what I ended I ended up doing is just making tabs for this square to attach onto it. Insert and we're gonna make this the same height as our reference square. Line it up. Duplicate. Repeat on the other side. And weld. Now we're going to go ahead and take our reference square and do, wait, well, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to take the attach. I'm going to take the square lines I used on this one because I know it's size to what I need it to be. Group that. And line it up. See, it's really that easy, guys. So you have your top, your bottom, your cupcake insert, and this is gonna be your side panels. And then you can feel free to decorate the box however you see fit. In the case, I use a bow, which is also here in design space, I think it's called Leather Bow. I think that's what I use. And literally, I just made it so that it is one inch, so it'll fit within this border and so it looks nice. And that's that, just changed it to gold. So to make it and there you have it and again you know me so I'm sorry I don't have an assembly video for you this time around I promise to make it up to you the next video but if you made it this far why don't you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Bye, guys.